a trip to Disaster Town. But once again, an innocuous period here, Asterai. Ascent has been probably the most default heavy map we've seen on Valorant so far. Ooh, that catches nothing though, but they can double up maybe. The P got from Foxy. This could be bad, but he actually still capitalizes with the pick off. Surf as well, gets another one on mid. And this two-pronged approach from Team Secret dismantled by Sertia already. They're gonna have to start coming in, but look at the crossfire set up by the rest of Sertia as they come into the meat grinders. Now, now, now down, excuse me, to Daddy Vash. But I don't think he's gonna be enough, especially when Team rather Sertia are still five-man strong. Gotta back away first. And what an explosion by Foxy there. Just taking down so many players on the side of Secret. Almost looking like a one-man army. He was the first point of contact and it seemed like he was going to be the last. But with accuracy and confidence in spades, he had no problem with holding down that B push. Now, like I said, they had so many investments there. So many positions that would allow them to play as aggressive as they did, uh, at least later on in the round. But now Secret here. No quarter has been given in that uh, first round. No frags on their side, but Dubstep with the Sheriff looks to change that tune. But Surf, effectively having an operator here, will not need to aim for anything but the but the bodies as Wits is the perfect case in point for that. Well, this is important for Surf that they get this pistol already. Team Secret, a couple of months ago, I think they were notorious for just being not good at pistols. It's still oh, yeah. a little bit more low percentage for them, but better off than what they were a couple of months ago. But Sersha definitely needs to get this one out right now as it will give them that certain round boost that we have been looking for for the Thai team. Uh, Dubstep and Vash now caught on their own side of the spawn. Sersha know about this and they're going to start just coming in ever oh, so slowly. A Sushi Boys comes in for the flank. Took a very long time for Dubstep to actually look behind him and he didn't even do so. So Sersha, good two solid rounds to get outside of uh, a heaven and try to fight them as they were coming in. Well, that being said, right, I think Secret is adjusting to the fact that they have to play against Foxy's Fade. And if they do push out on a massive explode, the risk of getting hit by a Seize and then getting 5-man Nanode, getting 5-man uh, Fragment is just so, so uh, high that they really can't ignore it. And they also have the Ostra so they can really win out these staggered pushes. Surf gets a trade, but Jeremy finding the Fragment kill onto Scary. So the look of this game is still in anyone's favor, really. But now with Dubstep onto the side and Sushi Boys with only a Sheriff, they have no problems, no resistance whatsoever as they dissect this A site yet again. But Jesse Vash trying to make Foxy pick up the can gets gunned down with a Vandal in hand. Now Surf still has that Operator from the previous round, but no frags as of yet. He will peer down from heaven, kind of like uh, a sniper from the tower. But he sees a dead body just to make sure it's completely dead. And even finds Borkum, reducing this to 1v1. Now Jeremy, he eliminates the dash, but doesn't matter the biggest whiff of his life! The surf, we've seen it! But now Jeremy, all up to him. All he needs is oh! the headshot angle, but surf! Pinpoint accuracy, threading the needle again! Winning out that 1v1! And Zerksha take the round lead now. Secret, they have to be reeling from that one, Asurai. Any other player would have used their blades already. Right? Close contact, reset, more mobility, can jump up if, up and down. But for Surf, he don't need it. He just does not need it. Look at all of that. My god, my goodness. Surf is on a war path here. The past couple of rounds that we saw in Haven where Sersha looked incredibly decisive was, I think, because they were uh, backing away or backing up on the operator of Surf. And lo and behold, the man again. That's another pick on A main. Team Secret uh, starting to lose a bit of bank here, and this is starting to uh, really hurt the economy of the Team Secret roster. And with Borkum getting out like that, or getting eliminated so, so early, their ability to cut down the sidelines is just going to be hampered by so much. And with Surf adding to that problem, it's really not going to be the easiest of strolls for Team Secret. So they're going to be relying on super hard contact, aside from the flashes. But Wits, he will jump peek, and he gets nothing out of that. Foxy's looking to go for a little aggressive play here as he knows that the backup is already there from CT. But Team Secret, they digress. They move somewhere else. They now have their sights towards A main. And those stars are still looking awfully suspicious for them. Dubstep a little mindful of the flank. We see the execute. 
Nobody playing close, nobody playing switch. No that drone, not even gonna get anything. The Hunter's Fury is gonna be completely blind, but Dubstep puts dirt in the eye of Surf, right who's been absolutely deadly with that operator. Now Dubstep, the smoke and dash. He's on site once more, on the side of Jenny, but Sushi Boys is an absolute turret. Scary is still here too, playing the close angle yet again. Wits finds a rotating Foxy, and now a mad dash has begun for Jesse Vash here, but Cruz looks to be a roadblock. He is doesn't the find the right avenue yet. It's gonna be super, super narrow if this happens, and Cruz, he knows this. All he has to do is be patient. All he has to do is win this fight, but Jesse, despite getting that frag, it's done for secret. This is the fourth round on the board for Zerksha, but Jesse gets a freebie. He's like, no, I'm not gonna go down without a fight. We're gonna make this as expensive as it can be. Sushi Boy still has that operator in hand, so that long range power, it's not going to be thriving. Yet again, another dementia, uh, that dimension, <laughs> dimension, my goodness. Zersha giving me, getting me a little tongue tied, but Scary is so, so certain of finding dubstep. Jeremy is here for the trade. They do get a rifle, an extra one at that. Zersha, they go for that retake heavy style yet again. They play for their ranges, they play for their time. And a lot more patience has been, uh, of, I would say, timely trades. There, I think that was a very, very isolated fight from Borkum. Potentially unnecessary, right? Again, they try to go for those timings. But this is the type of round that they have to, Ooh. once again, go through their inventory. At least have an inventory of what they did. Guys, I think there were no trades on all those fights that we took. Maybe let's be a little more compact. Let's be a little more passive. As Zerksha, they have been just so welcoming of these cloistered fights, Astra, that it's been somewhat of a nightmare for Secret to deal with. I have to keep asking, has Scary been playing like this good a couple of months ago? Because... Yes. <sighs> really? Because he feels like he's so much better now. Well, if he's been well, that consistent... true for everyone. Yeah. yeah, right? I mean, maybe it's because there's the quality of the matches itself, but my mm -hmm. goodness, man. Scary is just on a whole nother level. Like, Surf is hitting a lot of shots, but Scary... He's not on a duel list, so it's a little bit more extra, a little bit more special as it were. Blade for blade. Alright, dubs have fine surf. And Sersha here could get right the smart. <gasps> or come. Oh, this could be perfect. Oh no, he's gonna be coming through on this! The flank on short, absolutely oh, perfect. No. Orcum might make a mistake! Oh, he picks up the weapon. No punishes included. And he's actually all the way through spawn. Is Sushi even gonna peek this out? He's not, isn't he? He's gonna get out into the open and Borkum finds one. Now it's there's only to Fox 2 remain. Somehow, Team Secret actually maneuver back and react and adapt in time. It's Foxy with 7T. Not gonna work against Jeremy. And Team Secret find one for their own. I profess you did say that the quality matches have been somewhat uh, telling of everybody's performance. And I said this the last stage too. Uh, everybody has just gone up in stock immensely and it's been the same theme and I'm glad that every single time we have something like this every time we see a new stage in VCT everybody just goes up the level of competition just goes higher and higher and as we see the stuffed animals enjoy their food their time at the restaurants huh what are those gunshots Probably shouldn't bother us <laughs> but look at that a big big commitment here no safety nets being Unused as they use everything to uh, walk down on the side despite only oh! Zerksha having pistols Asterite. Now it looks like uh, Seeker is going for the throat. Surf is thinking, please, I only have a classic. Leave me alone. Fight me when I have an operator. How about that? <laughs> Catch me outside. How about that? Age is showing, Asterite. Age is showing. Age is showing. <laughs> <laughs> but, wow. So some of our younger audiences didn't even know. Oh yeah, but okay. here, here's the thing, right? Before we get a little yeah. too distracted, yeah, 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 that null command was brutal. True enough. Like, think about it. They probably weren't going to invest that much utility anyway because they were saving it for the gun round. But secret just to like grab a ball of pocket sand and throw it in Zerksha's face like that. This is a different gear that they're going into. Hopefully they continue with this again. We saw a little bit of yeah. individual overheating, but they have to add a little more temperance to that. Level it out just a little bit. I will add though to that, that Null Command, I feel, okay, in this specific situation, against Sersha, their gun rounds, and Scary not needing to be on the site to use his utility so that Null Command will basically do nothing to the Astro Stars. 
it's not as important. So why not just use it for a round that you know could still be a thrifty for Sersha and just make sure that you can bully them when they're at their weaker position, right? Mm -hmm. Any case, there still is this set little crossfire uh, for the A-side Sushi Boys. Was already so prepared for the oh. swing. Is there going to be any punishes through this? Okay, oh, one more charge. Fatal mistake. Oh, that! Yeah, no mistakes there. As the trades comes in, Wits actually intercepts Cruz as he peeks out through a short. And it was a feat of strength, a show of strength on the A side, but Team Secret have yet to really commit to it. As you can see, the spike is now going all the way through B. There's a ping right there. They still haven't spotted where Surf now lies. He does have the Operator in hand. If they're not careful, he could actually swing for a really huge intercept here against Team Secret. What utility left. is left from them? No more flashes, all about that hard contact. And Surf, all he has to do, sit back, relax, oh. and wait. Wow. <gasps> Wait, Once no. again. He's gonna back Secret. away first, but... You want to oh, oh, he misses! Commitment. Oh my goodness, Azhar. Okay, Pandemonium yet again. Jesse Vash trying to put down the law with that share, but Surf, what an incredible flick shot! He finds Jeremy, and now he hears the sound cue. Is he gonna go for the wall bang? He knows that tiny window is enough for Secret to pounce, but scary again! The man of the hour, the man of the map. Save. So first, search again, but Borkum. Borkum, he's too far away, no stars! Foxy, it's too much ammo. Despite having such a big investment on that early A main uh, Nightfall, they recover so, so well. And absolute bedlam. Aserai, Worcester. But man, Zergsha being as intrusive as they are, and it's only the first two rounds of our second half, but you can already see the philosophy, how they want to split the defense apart. They've been somewhat goading Seeker to react so, so quickly early on. And during the mid-rounds, there's been a little bit of a hard stop. Yeah. I think they're still trying to present themselves as something incredibly deceptive, as a team at least. In Seeker, they're mixed up. They're in a bit of an analysis blender. As we see a 2-3 split, the early information from B main is going to give them a false sense of security as Wits is still holding on to this. 1 minute 25, so anything can still happen. Now the spike is going to pu push itself towards be a point of interest perhaps. Mid has been completely left open. I'm not entirely sure how both these teams are addressing it or what they have a read on each other, what they're assuming. But right now, Asar, the long range fights are definitely going in the favor of Secret as we only really see Scary with a Bulldog for a little bit of resistance there. They had to give up mid control just because as you can see here, I think Team Secret are stretching out the fact that they want to go for crossfire setups, but as you mentioned, it is leaving them a little bit exposed. Although, because I think Sersha now heard that the drone was used on mid, they might actually try to just aggressively take um, B main here. Now, it's all going to be up to Cruz with how he uses his uh, KO blade, but somehow it's not going to work out. That trade is still deceptively good for Sersha here as Ooh. Surf just somehow finds himself into the embrace of Wits, and speaking of the man, he is alone. He's gonna spot them on the cross, still hits the shot. This is good because it pushes into a three versus two, but it dwindles the numbers and Scary is still alive. You do not want this man equipped with anything more than just an SMG because he can do damn deadly things. One more to remain. Dubs have finds him, but Secret will not be able to get the kill. Scary still remains here. Oh no! Oh, they're not looking, they're not looking, oh, no! they're not looking! Scary almost gets it. My goodness, where was Team Secret looking at? What a reposition and almost a blunder from TS. I have to say, despite Secret winning that round two, this looks like a labyrinthian puzzle. In Sersha, they look like the Seus and the Bull. They have to be yeah. conquered one way or another. Well, again, the combined powers of both figures. Wits had a very, very, I would say, valiant hold here. And the retake, man. I like this statement, Dole, here. The smokes are not your friend, Dubstep. They're mine. But again, this was just way too close for comfort. Scary is coming alive. The rest of his team are feeding off that type of energy. And this three-round gap could potentially be raised if they win this gun round. A reset point very, very close for both teams here. And this is where the pendulum swings. Wits, he sees it, he wants to control it, and he wants it to swing in his favor. Especially with Surf... Getting the move from that, what is their explosive entry power now? No, well, even without that expl explosive entry firepower, 
It feels like they still somehow managed to find openings in the creases of defense that Team Secret does have. And one of those actually quells from the fact that sometimes oh. they just don't know how to approach the Prowler. This time, it's the correct one. And as you can see, uh, Foxy dropping down ever so quickly. And now Wits, very much aware that a push through their own spawn is a possible necessity here. Scary. What a reactionary shot. So good. Smokes up the rest. Has a tight little angle here to work with. Dubstep now just cautiously tries to provide himself a little bit more information of where the rest of this Sertia roster is. And Vash has got himself into a corner right now. Oh, I love this positioning because Dubstep has given him some access, some leeway. Gets the shot off. One versus two. Oh my god. That it is the slot to Masters. Copenhagen, Copenhagen, I don't know how to pronounce it. But whichever, it's the next Masters. It's the next big thing. And again, mm -hmm. another shot at uh, at Champions as well. Oh boy. Again, we do set our differences aside once that moment comes. But Wits, this surviving that first fight, getting Surf, can ba he can back out here. And that he does. Still a little more wary. Like I mentioned, they still want to keep this afloat. They want to get that sail. They want to rather get that win in their sale. Get them out of this. Doldrum and Jesse Vash. He's just right on the money finding Scary. Who's been an absolute beast. An absolute behemoth. LMG mounted and loaded. Suppressing fire. But now they're backed into a hole. Potentially creating a pillbox. And Wits holding the defensive line. Cruz. The amount of bullets going in their way. They're getting shredded now. Sushi boys. All alone. And he could potentially go for a clutch. But no Borkum. He will eliminate him. And is Secret gonna bow up? Absolutely not. They're gonna fight tooth and nail. But Sircha, you can see that they are foaming at the mouth. They want this map over. They wanna go the distance. No more momentum swings. Well, we'll see if they can go that distance. Five rounds, Raph. Five extremely excruciating rounds will they have to go against Sertia if they want to finish this into game two over time and have a shot to win this second game but it's easier said than done Sertia has put so much emphasis on just being you know the best team from Thailand matching up against the best team from the Philippines really is a match to behold I think the last time we saw these two teams as well is I think uh, that was back when uh, Bren or Team Secret was still Bren and Sersha was uh, on their on their other team. I X10. Forgot the name. X10, yeah, thank you. And I think it was X10 that did win that last one. In any case, uh, yeah, five rounds, man, five rounds. Like I said, they've gone through so many prolific names. One tap, Patti, now we have Surf, but they've always been so consistent. Their system has just been so, so convincing that no matter what player we see, the mold will eventually turn them into what Zerksha needs. And Surf, he's been thriving. May I say, really performing to the best of his ability and even elevated at that. But once again, we go for a slow, brutal, and potentially grueling default left. here as Zerksha, maybe not as confident, maybe a little more careful, maybe a little more wary. But still, victory is in their sights. A chance at taking this to a third map just right around the corner as Foxy's still trying to pull as much attention but this time it's actually Secret holding strong despite losing a member here Dubstep gets discovered and now this oh, is no. going third but Dubstep will not face the music Dubstep he annihilates everybody trying to push market here and I thought this was going to be the divine play of Zerksha getting wits early eliminating that tour de force but Dubstep don't count us out just yet Zerksha potentially could be in a bit of a blender here a little bit of a shakeup they have to find their bearings because this is probably the most painful position in the game one more eco to give if they could steal this then this is gonna knock the wind out of secret sails but Seeger, they've been looking mighty, mighty impressive. Now Wits, he has the Operator. Not as fancy, not as shiny as a Tour de Force, but as lethal. He still has that Operator and rather that, that Rendezvous in his back pocket. So he might be a little more condensed with his teammates here as he knows it's an Eco. Zerf with the Blades. He's been a hero. He's been a Tyrant. A Kingdom Stopper. A King Slayer. Can he do the same? He pushes forward. He could potentially find a crossfire here, but it's Jeremy finding Scary. Scary again, falling first, but Sir, Sir! He gets two! He explodes! 
and a hot knife through butter. He gets the operator. This is looking mighty scary for Secret now. The post plan has suddenly be been turned on their heads. Rifles, specters, and an operator abound. The blades are still very much present. Secret, they're sweating bullets. They also have blades available, but they have to rely on their rifles. The null command is here. He could potentially eliminate the blades, and there you go. The sheriff has been picked up. Beautiful stuff, beautiful team play. Foxes miss, misses the first shot. Stairs. Oh, look at this! What a beautiful cosmic divide that's right! And they flush out the side, but it's still going in the way of Surf! Zerksha! They look to cut the throat! Dubstep is left alive here, but a 1v3! Is it doable? He turns around! This could be a critical error! And they finish him off! 